Show Don't Tell is one of the most beaten to death pieces of writing advice out there. And it's also bullshit. Today I'm gonna explain why. What's up guys, my name is Brandon McNulty. I'm a writer and welcome to my writing channel. Today we're gonna talk about Show Don't Tell. I am not the biggest fan of Show Don't Tell. I will say it right up front, I think it's a big bad lie that is told to young writers, new writers, whatever. It's something that is just thrown out there way too much and the terms show, don't, tell, they just drive me nuts. I'm going to explain why in a minute, but first I just want to give an overview of what Show Don't Tell is. I know it's in every writing guide ever, it's all over the internet, there's probably tons of videos here on YouTube about it, but just so we're clear, when I talk about Show Don't Tell, what I'm talking about is the idea of showing something, which is in your stories, if you're showing something, you're giving us sensory details, you're, you're showing us what is going on in your story world, as opposed to telling us by, you know, giving a character's, you know, ex past experiences or telling us the backstory or, you know, telling us why they feel a certain way or just, you know, giving us the, the basic adjectives of how they feel instead of showing us the, the physical details of how I feel. In other words, for instance, if you're saying that a character is cold, that would be telling. But if you're saying that a character is shivering, a character has their teeth chattering, a character is bundling up or, you know, creeping closer to the fire to get warm. That is showing because you're giving us physical details to help paint the picture. And just in case you're still a little confused about what it means to show and what it means to tell, think of it this way. Say you're filming a movie and you film that movie and you just get the, the visuals and you get the audio, you get those, those sensory details. What we would see on the screen and what we would hear from the, char the characters' mouths, that would be what is shown. Now if we were to include a voiceover in our movie, something like what we see in a lot of Scorsese films where we're told about the world, we're told about the characters and their history, and how the mafia works or whatever it is if we're told those things that is telling the voiceover is telling but when we have like the everything with the camera work and what the microphone picks up when the characters are speaking that is showing now we have showing and telling working together in those types of movies and they are very popular movies Scorsese films are very popular they're critically acclaimed all that good stuff so with that in mind how can telling be a bad thing? And that's what I wanted to hit on today. I think one of the key pieces of writing advice out there is show, don't tell. And I think the problem is that word don't. It signals that telling is a terrible thing that should never be done. And, and that is far from the truth. If you're going to adhere to the advice show, don't tell, you are going to drive your audience nuts because you're going to be showing everything in detail. And that's a problem because over time your audience is just going to get bogged down in all these details, all these sensory details. If you're pulling us into every single scene, that's going to get really taxing. It's going to get frustrating for the audience because telling is a good thing. Telling serves a purpose. Telling keeps us from getting bogged down in just an avalanche of details over the course of a story. I think it's important to remember that showing is by far the most important of these two things. You want to show more often than you tell. That, that, that's critical. But at the same time, you need to learn how to mix in the telling, how to keep your audience and how to keep your story moving along smoothly. Because that's important. If, if you bog down the audience, they're just going to put your book down. They're just going to move on to something else. And you know what? A lot of popular authors, a lot of successful authors, they use telling in their stories and they use it pretty much on every page. So if mega stars like Stephen King and George R.R. Martin are doing it, why are you listening to the advice that you should never tell? Instead, just remember that showing is more important than telling. That's the key. If you focus on showing things throughout your story and you remember to always ground things in sensory details, you can get away with telling. Now, as far as the ratio of showing to telling, that's up to you. Look at what some of your favorite authors are. Next time you're reading one of your favorite books, pay attention to when things are being shown to you and when things are being told to you. Get a feel for it and see how you can work it into your own stories. Figure out what ratio works best for you and for your readers. As long as the readers keep flipping pages, as long as you're happy, you don't have to worry about rules like show, don't tell. Remember, this is an art form, not a math formula, so do what works for you. Question of the day, what is your current show to tell ratio? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Share this video with a friend if you don't mind. And as always, remember to keep on writing.